Let's dive in and create your first automated workflow. But first things first, if you haven't already, sign up for a free Relay.app account now. Before we dive into creating your workflow from scratch, I wanted to let you know about Relay.app's how-to gallery. These are pre-built workflows that act as templates with the apps, triggers, and actions already set up. You can use them as an inspiration or click on any how-to in our gallery to add it to your account. But now it's time to build your workflow. So for this video, we'll use a simple example. We'll upload email attachments to Google Drive while simultaneously notifying your team in Slack. Once you are in the Relay.app dashboard, navigate to the top right corner and select New Workflow. With Add Trigger selected, search for the app you want to kick things off. And if this is the first time using your app in Relay, you'll need to authorize the connection. Now, some apps also support optional filters, allowing you to only trigger an automated workflow if conditions are met. I don't want to save every file from every email I receive, and this is where filters come in. I'm only wanting to save client files for specific projects. So I'm gonna create a conditional filter or rule. And now when the email subject contains Noel's project, Relay.app is given the green light to trigger this workflow. You can view the data collected from your trigger here under preview. And if you want to pull in any new data, select the refresh icon to the right and Relay.app will collect the most recent. We've created the workflow and we have created the trigger. Easy, right? So select done and let's move on to the next step, which ironically is adding a step. So select the add step icon and then once again, search for your app. I need to upload a file from an email to my Google Drive. And so I'll select the attachment and I'll use the email from name and address for the file naming convention. Next, I need to notify my team on Slack. However, I don't want to waste their time and have them read the email all over again. So instead, use Relay.app's AI functions to do the work for you. Relay.app enables you to bring JetGPT 3.5 and 4.0 into your workflows. Even better, it is included in all Relay.app plans for free. I'm going to get JetGPT to summarize the email content, which I will use later to send in the Slack message, saving me, my team, and even my client time. There will also be instances where I need to notify this colleague in Slack and other times that I'll need to notify that colleague. That's where flow control comes in. It allows you to tell Relay.app, hey, when this happens, do this, or when that happens, do that. To set this up, select the add step icon again, then hover over flow control, and you'll see the options available. Selecting rule-based path will create a path A and a path B. You can then add conditional rules that define when each path should be taken. Okay, we have looked at some automated features you can use in your workflow, but what about bringing a human in? This is where Relay.app's human in the loop feature shines. You can set up a human in the loop step to make sure your data is accurate and workflow is running as expected. Just select the add step icon and hover over human in the loop to see the options available. We need approval of the file attachment before messaging our team on Slack. Select how you want to send the request, include the assignee, a personalized message, and any other details that you feel are necessary. And then when the workflow runs, the human, in this case, me, will receive an email to review the attachment and decide whether to approve or reject it. If approved, the workflow will continue as usual. If not, then it will stop, allowing the team to come together and identify any issues. Now, let's move on to the last step. I need to send a message through Slack. So as you know, add a step, find your app, select the receiver here and include the message. For me, that's pulling in the summarized email we set up earlier with AI, as well as including any details you feel are important. Once you are ready, you can run a test of your workflow and see how it performs. Just select start test run and watch the workflow in action. Jump in for the human step, approve, and watch the rest automate and view your successful run. How easy was that? Now make sure you check out the other helpful resources and documentation on how to best automate with Relay.app. And I'll see you in the next video.